In this video we're going to be creating our first PHP unit test. We're going to test our Fibonacci service and in order to do that we're going to create our unit test class, we're going to create one simple test with one assertion and we're going to run it. So here is our Drupal module with a simple service that is generating the Fibonacci numbers and I want to point out something first that back then when I was doing this tutorial I was a bit ahead of myself and I didn't check that the Fibonacci number sequence actually starts from 0 where I thought it starts from 1 so I thought it started like this and continued like so but in general the logic is the same just the first two numbers are 0 and 1 so keep that in mind that I actually fixed it here in this github repo so we're going to use it and we're going to clone it to our local Drupal codebase so here we have a Drupal codebase that is generated with the help of Drupal Composer create and we're going to jump to the web folder and then to the modules folder there and we're going to create a folder that is called custom there we go and we're going to change to the custom folder and we're going to git clone the github repo with the Fibonacci service module so we're cloning it and now we could jump to our code editor and inside of web and modules custom we have our module with a Fibonacci service so let's start with writing the test basically in order to write a test inside of our module we'd have to create a test folder so let's start with that we have a folder that is called tests and we're going to create inside of it a folder that is called src src and inside of it we're going to create a folder that is called in our case unit because we're going to be writing php unit tests so unit there we go and if you want to test this class this is the fibonacci service class we're going to copy its name and we're going to create a new php file here and we're going to call it Fibonacci service test PHP and inside of it of course we're going to write PHP and we're going to have a class that is called Fibonacci service test that's perfect so our namespace it is supposed to be Drupal and then we're going to have tests here and then a bit differently we would have the module name here so our module name is called Drupal up Fibo and then we would have unit this is very well documented so you don't have to worry too much about it it's just the way it's in the documentation and our main test class is supposed to be extending the unit test case there we go and we have to of course add a use statement for the unit test case and we could simply here say that this is our main test class for the Fibonacci service there we go 
so instead of this test class we could have five or one or ten tests that are actually testing our Fibonacci service so we would start writing tests like public functions so we say public function and every each of the functions should start with test and we would be testing something specific so let's first have a look at our Fibonacci service and what it's basically doing it's mostly using the calc sum fibos function and we're going to test for example what would be the fifth Fibonacci number and we would have to directly say that the fifth Fibonacci number is supposed to be let's have a look one two three four five let's say the sixth is supposed to be five the number five so in our test let's go ahead and write the name as test sixth Fibo Nachi number and what we have to do here is we would have to basically instantiate the Fibonacci service class so we could say Fibonacci service equals new Fibonacci service and we have to add this in the use statement there we go and we could directly say that the fifth Fibonacci sequence number is supposed to be five so let's first go ahead and see how we could generate the fifth one so if we say Fibonacci sequence equals Fibonacci service and we're going to be using the calc sum fibos let's go ahead and copy it from here calc sum fibos and we want to generate six ones there we go and the main thing that php unit is doing it's the assertions so let's quickly have a look at the assertion section from the php unit documentation so the general rule is that every test should have at least one assertion or maybe just one assertion that's generally a really good idea so if we check the assertions in the php unit documentation we would see that we would have a assertion that is called assert equals and that is basically asserting that two values are equal we're going to use that so here we are saying this we have access to assert equals because we are extending the unit test case so we say assert equals and we're going to say that the Fibonacci sequence because it returns a array of the Fibonacci numbers so the fifth value because in the arrays you know the values start from index 0 so this is with index 0 this is with index 1 and then index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4 and index 5 so the sixth number is with index 5 so let's go ahead and say that in the tests the array item with index 5 is supposed to be 5 with value 5 basically the same thing that we see here so there we go let's go ahead and have a look how we could run this test 
if we jump back to the terminal the rule inside of Drupal is that we would have to be in the core folder so we would jump back to the web folder first and then we're going to change to the core folder and we're going to run the vendors bin php unit that is basically in the vendor folder inside of the Drupal composer create project and we're going to run just the tests that are in the modules custom so in the modules custom we have just our module and in our module we have basically just one test so let's go ahead and run this and there we go we see that we have one test with one assertion so that's how you would start with your PHP unit tests inside of Drupal 8 if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching